Hello YouTube. Today I would like to do a quick update on my uh, Tan C. Heinz uh, regenerative exploration generator replication. Uh, there was one user, uh, one YouTube user, uh, which have, uh, asked me a question about uh, switching the LED uh, light bulb load uh, with a, a normal incandes uh, inc incandescent light bulb. So uh, what I've done is I have uh, here you see my incandescent light bulb. It's uh, rated at 15 watts. So uh, my generator isn't able to supply the full 15 watts, but I've calculated it uh, and uh, it runs at uh, 2 watts. But uh, also with the incandescent light bulb, you can see the same effect, uh, the same uh, regenerative acceleration effect uh, taking place. Okay, uh, so uh, now uh, let's start it up. There we go. Now the system is accelerating to 100 Hz. There we go. Now it's on, on speed. Uh, you can see that it's almost generating 300 Hz by now. And that uh, on idle the system takes 78.3 watts, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. <coughs> and when I connect my incandescent light bulb, there we go. Oh. There we go. Then you see that it now takes 76.1 watts. And with load removed it climbs back to 77.8 watts. And let's try it again. Load connected 75.4 watts with load removed 77.5.4. So here you see that the same effect is taking place. And instead of displaying the hertzes, I will now show the voltage. So on idle, uh, the generator is generating. 330 volts and with load connected it goes to 88.2 volts 88 volts so yeah, it's also it's also heating up so that's a good thing so with load disconnected you see that the input wattage climbs and with load connected it will drop. So this is a normal resi uh, resistive load <coughs> and that is it. Okay. That was my uh, quick update for today. Okay, thanks for